Vanessa from BMD Designs and I am here because we are gonna have a giveaway. This channel reached 20,000 subscribers last month. Wait, was it last month? Was it the month, what's today? In fact, it's almost to 22,000 subscribers now, which is... And let me apologize real fast if it's really shaky because I'm in my fortress of solitude, AKA my bedroom right now, hiding from my children. If y'all have been with me any amount of time, y'all know, y'all know, y'all know, y'all know. The struggle is real. Hashtag mom life. Anyways, back to the giveaway. I've got merch. I'm sorry. These I had these nice and folded, but I've this is like my second time filming because the first time I forgot to turn the lights on. The second time I realized my new nose piercing, you could see the silver piece coming out my nose. So legit looked like I had a silver booger just just chilling like right there. If you're anything like me, you would just be zoned right in on that and you probably wouldn't even be able to pay attention to whatever I was saying because you'd be like, silver booger. So we've got a shirt that says sparkling, a constant state of being caused by being around or working with glitter because glitter is life except no substitutes. Shine on, I absolutely love it. Next, oh, this is, a... <gasps> we're gonna be twinsies. Y'all are probably like, this chick, do I really wanna be a twin with her? I think the shirt is a large and then the sweatshirt is an extra large. I didn't know what really the size to get. And because I live in black and gray and sometimes dark blue, I got a gray sweatshirt. Hopefully you guys like gray. If not, I mean, <laughs> oh well. And it's also baggy, but come on, it's fall. It's a sweatshirt, it's baggy. I mean, who wears sweatshirts that fit? Next, we have samples. I've got some free samples from CC DIY. I have Fast Set A and B, which is amazing if you need to do a tumbler quickly. I use, bleh, usually use it when I'm epoxying or adding glitter to my tumbler and I do the epoxy method. I love using Fast Set because I can get my glitter on there and in a couple hours it's dry and I can move on to the next step. I also have Artist Resin Medium Viscosity. It's amazing for cooler temperatures if your house is cold like mine in the winter because you have a husband who was apparently an Eskimo in his past life. And Artist Resin, the regular one, which you can pretty much use anytime throughout the year. So we've got epoxy samples. And of course, I wouldn't be me without glitter. PDB Creative Studio has been amazing enough to give me 10 of my personal favorite glitters. I use these glitters pretty much all the time. They're a staple. I absolutely love them. We've got a beautiful gold, Queen Bee. It's like a white gold. We'll be seeing that one soon in some Christmas tumblers. We have Coachella, which is amazing. When Coachella first came out, you couldn't get it because it was always sold out. I've also got Sunshine, which I love to use on tumblers to give some extra depth, as well as Next, the same thing. I used these on some recent tumblers that we've done. I think I used those on the pencil tumbler for Halloween. I also have Bougie, one of my favorite whites. And Anka. Anka is perfect for like a snow look. It's a, it's a, uh, oh, what's the word? It's not dull, it's, it's a matte. Thank you. It's a matte white. Matte, matte, mate, something like that, you know. Maleficent, a gorgeous black. Beast, which is another gorgeous gold, one of my favorites. Another tumbler, another tumbler. Another glitter that you'll be seeing soon on a Christmas tumbler. Illumination. And Toxic. This is the one that you wanna use on my witch design. The one that says, oh honey, I don't take orders because I barely take suggestions, that one. The little spicy one. And lastly, we have a tumbler. This one is like a more of a fall. Well, I guess you could say it's a fall themed tumbler, but I would rock this sucker 24-7, 365. It's super cute. It's got this beautiful shift between greens into the pinks, and then it has a beautiful floral transfer from Southern Belle glitters on there. And of course, I've got extra sparkle in there. Come on now. Y'all know how I roll. Y'all know how I roll. So we've got a tumbler. We've got some epoxy samples from Counterculture DIY. We've got merch and we've got glitter from P2B Creative Studio. This is just a way for me to thank all of my subscribers out there and just to let you know that I see you. I see you. Like 
actually literally I literally see you like I can see you there's like a little red circle thing next to your name on my screen so I see you I see you I see you I appreciate you and I love you all you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and post in the comments down below and let me know what you're gonna be doing for Thanksgiving or for Christmas do you have traditions that you like to do do you go out do you like visit family for christmas do you visit family for thanksgiving are you still guys going to the pumpkin patch like what are you doing what's up what's going on i want to know i'm nosy that's it guys thank you so much for your support it means the world to me you just have no idea i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and i will see you guys next time bye i'm so sorry it looks so dark in here i need to get my act together and get me like an actual setup because Girl. <laughs> Girl. And the light's not helping. I have like every single light. Oh, I don't have that light on. Will it help? I don't know if it'll help. Shut up! <laughs> Am I gonna have to film all this over again? This is my tutorial for a Bob Ross inspired winter storybook peekaboo tumbler. I have already sanded and prepped my tumbler using an 80 grit sanding block and Rust-Oleum flat white spray paint. Now we're ready to add our background ombre. I only want the front of my mug to have this effect, leaving the back portion nice and white. To do this, I'm using a piece of cardstock as a shield. Try and make sure that whatever you use, it's stiff enough not to move around while you're spraying your paint. While our paint dries, let's make our custom mix for the snowflake side. Now we're ready to add our glitters for the base of our peekaboo design. I'll be doing my favorite method to apply my glitters, the epoxy method, but do whatever is easiest for you. To apply my glitters, I'll be keeping the turner stationary and turning it manually as I glitter around the tumbler. I'll be starting with the back first, then applying my ombre on the front. I like to use the tilt of my tumbler on the turner to really blend in my sides by sprinkling the glitter down the side of the tumbler. Doing this will give you a nice transition between the front and the back. Because I'm using Fast Set, I removed my tape as soon as I was finished glittering. 
I let this glitter layer cure, sealed with Carlon Triple Thick and added one layer of epoxy. Now we're ready to add our first layer of vinyl. To create depth, I wanted to add my vinyl on separate layers, so I did the parts of the decal that would be furthest away in the picture, which is the mountains and the moon. To help me keep my decal elements in the frame, I cut out the size of the whole decal circle and cut it with stencil vinyl. Placing the see-through circle on the back of the transfer tape will allow me to see where to place my decals on the tumbler so that they will fit within the peekaboo circle. Seal this layer with epoxy and then we'll be ready to add our next layer of the decal, the birch trees and the deer. For this layer, I wanted to be sure it would fit within our peekaboo, so I made the trees and deer slightly bigger than the circle and welded them together to keep them in place. This way, when we spray paint our tumbler later, we will know the whole image will fit nicely inside the circle window. When you're finished, let's seal this layer and add some extra glitter for our snow. I've already added my epoxy, now I'm adding Humble from Peachy Olive Glitters into my epoxy and dabbing it over the window area to give the impression of snow falling. I try to keep the snow in one area, but if it happens to move, no biggie. Let this layer cure, then we'll be ready to add our stencils and cut out our circle outline. First, to be sure my outline would fit over the peekaboo, I made the outline slightly bigger than the circle, just to be on the safe side. Next, I sized some of my snowflakes between one to two and a half inches for my 10 ounce morning mug. But please fam, don't feel like you have to use the exact same sizing for your snowflakes. Remember, this is Bob Ross inspired. Make those happy little snowflakes any size you like. This is your world.
you're happy with your stencil placement, let's spray paint. For my background paint, I didn't just want a single flat color, so I added some depth by making the middle slightly lighter than the top and bottom. Not too much. The end effect will be very subtle. Let your paint completely dry, then peel up your stencils. Extra glitter, extra glitter. Of course, let's add more glitter. For this mix, I wanted to simulate more falling snow, but have it be different than the snow in our peekaboo. If you notice the tumbler spinning on the right, I want a little ham with the glitter, but on the one that I'm working on now, I just have it coming from the top and kind of gently falling towards the bottom where it thins out a little. But the sucker on the right, man, I went a little crazy with that one and I actually really like it, but I decided to ease up on the other one. I sealed this layer with one more coat of epoxy and then I was all done. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. Have fun making your Bob Ross inspired winter storybook peekaboo tumblers and I'll see you again next time. Bye.